Hello there, just a little video, a short video perhaps I should say. Uh, a student has been expelled from a college in Burnley. <laughs> Look at that, imagine turning up there every day to get communised. <laughs> um, a student has been expelled from a college in Burnley for supporting the governments, the in power elected governments Rwanda policy. Leo Shepherd, 17, from Nelson, Lancashire, said, Today my college has refused to take me on for a second year because I made some tweets they didn't like about Rwanda. This is the state of modern Britain. And if we look down, there you go, there's his tweet. That's from the 21st of June. The Burnley College student added that it was a very overwhelming situation. Well, of course it is. He's 17. He's, he's, he's trying to improve his life. He went to college and he got commied out. I mean, it's, it's insanity. Absolute insanity. Hard. I mean, wow. Look at the state. He's right. The state of modern Britain. The tweets that have offended Burnley College came after Leo quote tweet quote tweeted a news report about a migrant opposed to the Rwanda plan. The migrant told the Daily Mirror, "All I want is for a chance in life. That's all, a chance to have a life." Leo said, "That life can be had in the beautiful country of Rwanda, which has much nicer weather than the UK." <laughs> Which is fair enough. There you go. There you go. Look, he's got his actual, I'm guessing that's his actual photo. Got his name there. <gasps> he's got the union flag. That's probably what done it. Um, he also responded to another user who wrote, 25, oh, 250 years ago, we transported people to Australia because they were vulnerable enough to steal bread. Today we've decided to deport others to Rwanda because they are vulnerable enough to seek safety. And Leo said, the people we transported to Australia ended up building a great nation. Maybe that's what Rwanda needs. You know, he's been chucked out of his further education for that. Good Lord. Right-wing political commentator Sophie Corcoran said, A teenager has been kicked off their college course reportedly because he made tweets that the college didn't like about Rwanda. And there you go. They effectively ruined the youngster's future because he said something they disagree with. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Toe the party line. Oh, you're at university. You're not here for debate. You're not here for argument. You're not here for intellectual discussion. No, you're here to toe the party line. You, you, you know, critical thinking, what? <laughs> this is 2022, mate. That stuff ended dec half a century ago. Heritage Party leader David Curtin. <laughs> I wonder if he likes drawing. Heritage Party leader David Curtin tweeted, This is an outrage. No student should be refused an education because they stated a lawful opinion that some other people dislike. Yeah, of course, it's uh, barking. Uh, the college must back down immediately. And that's pretty much it. Now, here's the Burnley contact page. Um, Burnley.ac.uk forward slash contact dash us forward slash. So there's a uh, there's one of those uh, I can't sort of there. There's one of these uh, things where you fill it all in, put your thing in. But they've also got their email there and their phone number. Now I wouldn't say um, contact them and say anything, but if you do, um, you know, don't be stupid because it won't reflect well. Just be sensible and uh, let them know, as I certainly actually am going to right now. Ta-ta! All right, so before I made that video public, I thought, well, it was a week or two ago, I better make sure that, um, you know, there hasn't been a turnaround or there hasn't been any you know, developments. And it turns out there's a little bit more to the story than 
than I at first thought. So here he is talking to um, Farage on GB News. You've got into trouble because you've been expressing opinions. You, to begin with, this was a conversation about the Middle East uh, and you said something, maybe you said it partly in jest. Yes, it was absolutely in jest. It was me taking a hit at Tony Blair and all the absolute uh, pain and suffering that he caused over the 20 years that the Iraq war went on. He was only the Prime Minister, of course, for a bit of it, but he played such a major part in causing such a travesty. And, and you said that, we, that the Prime Minister should bomb the Middle East and start again? No, I said that he should have got it all done with at the beginning, rather than dragging it on for 20 years. All right. But then on Twitter, which seemed to cause real trouble, and after that you were put on home learning? Yes. Uh, for a few months and it was awful. I, I think we all know because of coronavirus that it's not a good way to learn, but I was secluded from my classmates. I was left at home with very little support from college and a lot of the stuff I had to just teach myself through textbooks because my teachers weren't paying me any attention. And how many of these, I mean, you know, come on, had you, had you often made these type of comments? No, not really. I've never been in trouble before. I've never even been looked at by a teacher for comments or anything else. It was a big surprise and a first time experience. And then what, then it really, really went wrong with something that you should, by the way, you know, we've been through your Twitter profile mm -hmm. and, and we don't find you saying offensive things mm -hmm. on Twitter. But you did share a meme on Twitter mm. which compared jihadi bride Shamima Begum um, and ISIS to the US white supremacy group Ku Klux Klan. Mm. And this was too much for the, for, for the college. Yes. Uh, one of my fellow students decided to uh, bring it to the college's attention after the Iraq comment um, because the college asked them to look into my social media and asked if there were anything that needed bringing to their attention, despite it being posted and seen the year prior. And for this, you have now been excluded. Yes, uh, Ma, the principal told me that she doesn't want me to return for the second year. Because? Because uh, it doesn't, they believe it won't work, me going back to the college, and I don't, they don't want me there, essentially, but they said they will help me if I want to go to a different college. Help oh, me get nice in, which I thought was a bit odd. I'm being sarcastic. So you're one year into your A-level course yes. and not sure where you're going to be going in exactly. a few weeks' time. Well, there you go. I mean, uh, here's the thing. I mean, as I already said, the, the thing about... I, I, I done seven, eight years at liberal arts education and the best thing about it is the women. <laughs> The best thing about it is being able to learn in a group, having friends. You know, I remember nights in the bar where we'd be arguing about about the things we were learning. You know, having a group of people, it, it, it motivates you, it encourages you, and it assists your ability to learn. Now, as he said, learning this stuff at home, it's not the same as being able to have a, se have an, have a seminar with many people putting different views in, although it sounds like, <laughs> unsurprisingly, there's not a lot um, else you could put in apart from what the teachers are telling you the truth is. I mean, it's, it's good Lord. It'll probably do better not to go back, really. But wow, what are you gonna do, eh? Fuck's sake. Sweet, 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 